In this tutorial, we will see how to calculate processing requirements. Processing requirements is a way of calculating how many machines are required to produce the number of products required. Processing requirements calculations need reasonably accurate demand forecast, standard processing times, and available work time. The number of machines required, represented by Nm, is just the sum of the processing time for each item being produced times the demand for that item over the planning period. Once this is calculated, it is divided by the processing time available over the planning period. A company produces four items that require times on a particular model of drill press. Item 1 has annual demand of 500 and requires 10 hours on the drill press. Item 2 has annual demand of 400 and requires 12 hours on the drill press. Item 3 has annual demand of 800 and requires 6 hours on the drill press. Finally, item 4 has annual demand of 1,000 and requires 5 hours on the drill press. The company works two shifts and runs 4,000 hours per year. How many of the drill presses do they require? For item 1, annual demand of 500 times 10 hours means it needs 5,000 hours of drill press time per year. For item 2, annual demand of 400 times 12 hours means it needs 4,800 hours of drill press time each year. For item 3, annual demand of 800 times 6 hours means it needs 4,800 hours of drill press time per year. Finally, for item 4, annual demand of 1,000 times 5 hours means it needs 5,000 hours of drill press time per year. Now, 5,000 plus 4,800 plus 4,800 plus 5,000 means they need 19,600 hours of drill press time per year. Dividing by the working time of 4,000 hours per year means they need 4.9 machines. In this example, a company produces four items that require time on a particular machine that they only have one of. Item 1 has annual demand of 200 and requires one hour on the machine. Item 2 has annual demand of 100 and requires three hours. Item 3 has annual demand of 300 and requires two hours. Finally, item 4 has annual demand of 50 and requires 10 hours. The company operates 2,000 hours per year. Do they have adequate capacity with only one machine? Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. For item 1, 200 times 1 equals 200. For item 2, 100 times 3 equals 300. For item 3, 300 times 2 equals 600. For item 4, 50 times 10 equals 500. Those add up to 1,600 hours, so the 2,000 hours of machine time that is available is adequate. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.